Hello, and welcome back to the ICU doc. This is Tamaris Baranos, and here's another lecture on transthoracic echo. In today's presentation, we'll be talking about the right ventricular inflow outflow view, how to get it, and the structures we're looking at. Let's first talk about the ultrasound probe position. The fastest and easiest way to get the right ventricular inflow outflow view is to first get the parastel on long axis and rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise, keeping the aortic valve at the center of the image. Take a look at this video and see how the parastel on long axis will become the right ventricular inflow outflow view just by rotating the probe. Now let's talk about the structure we're looking at in the right ventricular inflow outflow view. The cavity that's farther away from your probe is going to be the left atrium. What I'm circling right now is actually not very clearly visible in this particular case, but it's the interatrial septum. On the other side of the septum, you have the right atrium, which empties into the right ventricle. And the right ventricle will empty to, into the pulmonary artery. Let's talk about the valves we're looking at. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle, you have the tricuspid valve. And between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, you have the pulmonic valve. The valve that's right in the middle of the screen is going to be the aortic valve in short axis view. In some patients, you can actually see the bifurcation of the pulmonary artery, but right behind the heart, right here. And if you do, this one is going to be the right PA, and this one will be the left pulmonary artery. Here's the aortic valve in a magnified view. There's two ways you can get this image. You can either zoom into the aortic valve from the image you had earlier, or you can decrease the depth. In this particular case, the examiner decided to decrease the depth to 10 centimeters. The aortic valve in short axis is commonly described as the Mercedes-Benz sign, which I'm going to outline right now. And let's talk about the cusps of the aortic valve. The aortic valve cusp that is closer to the interatrial septum is going to be the non-coronary cusp. The cusp that is closer to the right ventricle is going to be the right coronary cusp. And the third cusp that's left is going, going to be the left coronary cusp. Thank you all for listening. If you like the content, make sure you check out our website, YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter.